Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. So today we have Rithik Baniya with us. He has secured AIR20 from IN branch and AIR113 from EC branch. So yeah, Rithik, please introduce yourself to our viewers. Thank you, Baniya. Thanks a lot for inviting me to the channel. Uh, I've been a dedicated member and subscriber to the channel. So to everybody, myself, Rithik Baniya, I'm a fourth year undergraduate student at IIEST Shepur. I have got a rank of um, 20 in instrumentation engineering and also uh, I also got 113 rank in ECE. Okay, so can you share your journey with us like uh, from where did you start your preparation journey and what motivated you to start this uh, about preparation for GATE? Okay, dear. so uh, I started my uh, GATE journey probably around uh, second after my second semester so the first semester and second semester was both online so i was initially studying the uh, branch course and courses and all but then gradually i shifted my focus to gate uh, purely uh, so gate offers a variety of uh, opportunities to us so in that regard i started my gate journey uh, probably at, at the beginning of second year so okay, that was okay. the start of my journey Okay, so you just, you just wanted to prepare your subjects and all like, so that's why you prepared for GATE. There was nothing yes. like AIM yes. that I want to go to IITs or um, PSUs, there was nothing as no, well. no. Okay, okay. No. So you prepared from coachings or like uh, self-study only? I used YouTube, sir. I okay, used you only prepared from YouTube, YouTube lectures only? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, so then that's like great for like whoever wants to prepare through YouTube, they can also understand. So how did you use YouTube effectively? What things you did? to like prepare it like how did you sorted out topics and how did you like uh, decided that i will study from this uh, this topic from this teacher and this topic from this one what did you do so uh, our second year the beginning of second year third semester was very hectic due to the introduction of electronics courses so we had edc we had network we had signal systems and all so i started using youtube as a medium i studied uh, network from ankit sir I started, uh, I also started a signal system for Vishal Sony sir. And, and then gradually I, with the, with the passing of time, I went for different subjects, um, majorly through Vishal Sony sir and uh, Ankit sir. So, okay, okay. Majorly you studied from him. So like, uh, doesn't YouTube distract you? Like few people say, students say that YouTube is very distracting. That's why yes. they shift to some other, yes. is it distracting? Okay. You watch some videos and some other video comes on the, onto the feed and you try to start to watch that. Yes, Okay. Okay. But, then who, who, whoever feels like again, it is distracting. Yeah. See. But then again, we are, we can also download the videos, right? So ah, I yeah, 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 actually yeah. downloaded yeah. the video. On, on okay. The that's, yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing actually. Yes. Okay. So yeah, as you said, right, you prepared with college. So how did you like manage your time? Like you had college, SIMS, VIVAs, all those things. How did you manage? How are you able to manage the time of college and your gate preparation? So uh, probably the best time uh, for my preparation was around the COVID days only. So we had uh, like till my second year, I was in online course only. So I used a lot of my time, initial time in preparation of my notes as well as the subject revision and all. Okay. okay. So yeah. Okay. That, so that helped that basically. Only, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, but after uh, starting college, then what did you do? You used to only give test series or like you used to prepare subjects as well? Like after starting of your college? No. Uh, so after my second year, I, I had majorly uh, four subjects remaining. So uh, I had control, communication and uh, EMFT. And, and uh, I also had the last portion of digital net. So I... Uh, yeah. In third year also, I gave my gate, uh, gate exam, but that did not win very well. So because I was majorly missing the four subjects that I did not learn. So the initial days of my third year went into the preparation of the four subjects first. So I knew that if I prepare well, then I'll get a decent rank. But then again, my subjects were not very clear, uh, the four subjects that, uh, that were missing. So initially, I started my third year uh, with uh, the completion of the courses first, and then I went to test series in the month of okay, October okay. and November. So which okay, October month you started your test series, right? October month you started yes, your test series. Yes, yes. So like, uh, yes. if you want to share, like, what was your uh, rank in third year? Sir, my rank was thirteen hundred something. Okay, thirteen. Eleven hundred. 
okay it's, it's yeah, great then like you have improved a lot like many people can get inspiration like whoever got low rank they can also improve their rank yeah. so like uh, so during the whole preparation journey right what what thing was the most uh, like difficult part for you like which part was the most difficult like so people will say revision is difficult people will say test series are difficult so what part was difficult for you during your preparation so initial journey that i uh, began with my notes and all so uh, the revision of the complete note was very difficult for me initially but then again i shifted uh, uh, shifted to short notes short note means i like uh, like and like wrote the whole formula just in a single page only i completed the entire subject subject wise i had short, short notes so the revision went quite well with that and then test series initially i did not get a very decent marks in test series but initially i but then again improving myself a lot and then uh, i was able to get around 60 to 65 in uh, all the test series okay 60 to 65 okay so like uh, uh, as uh, to our viewers i want to say like uh, many viewers ask for short notes i want to say that you have to make your own short notes that will be the best outcome yes, i think yes. so if you <laughs> make your through yes. through whatever notes you made you make your own short notes and through other information you studied this from youtube lecture or studied something from test series you put those in your short notes that that will be the most fruitful for you because your short notes should be customized according to you not according to someone else that is very important uh, for yeah, our viewers yeah. to also yeah, understand yeah. okay so like, uh, like yeah see i would like to uh, add a point here that uh, i i also like uh, suggest um, the people that make your own notes don't rely on uh, like the notes given by institute and all make your own notes because then again you will know what you have written in the notes and also you can practice easily from there so yeah, i recommend like on using uh, making a note yes yeah now it has become trend to like everyone ask for notes but uh, like people are very yeah. lazy and they should not do it because whenever you write something like that also like processes in your head so then only you are able, able you will be able to understand that yes you got the concept else if you just see the notes that is in like uh, studying that is in studying so yeah that is also a very important point you should do like whenever you are doing self study right which is very important so like during this whole preparation like how did you keep up your motivation like sometimes people lose motivation right uh, semester exams come this has come so people lose out motivation so what kept you like motivated to not stop preparing for gate so uh, in the beginning of fourth year uh, there were placement season going on so like i there were not much uh, companies coming to our college this year due to the pandemic and all so uh, initially uh, the initial days were very tough for me to maintain my uh, composure as well as my uh, the mental strength i needed that but then again uh, in the back of my mind i had that that if i can get 1300 rank in third year without preparing four subject i can definitely improve myself and get a decent rank uh, in second digit and all so that was the major factor for me uh, to improve myself because i knew that with four to five subjects remaining if i give my uh, very best and i could get uh, get away with very good rank yeah i i like talked with you that time. you were also very sad so yeah you had to like prepare for get you had no other choice right placement yes. was not good yes, so you yes. had to prepare for get anyways so yeah so yes. uh, like uh, like which subject did you find most difficult in your all of this ec background or ian background which subject you find difficult and how did you prepare the ian sub- subjects did you prepare the ian core subject as well or you just uh, skip those subjects what did you do no we are, uh, the uh, the two major subjects that are uh, there is uh, power electronics as well as uh, measurement in iron i did not uh, specifically prepare those subjects so in in case of measurement there were some theoretical topics that i covered uh, during the last few days before the gate exam i did not specifically prepare for uh, instrumentation engineering because i had no time there okay you just prepare for ec you just prepare for ec yes. and uh, use whatever aptitude you had to on the iron examination yes. and still got a great yes. rank so yes. that is very good yes. okay uh, and for ec like which subjects you find more difficult uh, and to like so that our viewers can also understand they have to give more focus to the subjects for ec uh, communication emft uh, those are uh, like considered to be uh, uh, like uh, the more tougher side subjects actually i believe uh, in the fact that every year the gate paper is changing and they are emphasizing on a single subject uh, throughout the like throughout the each year like in 2023 when i gave my gate paper first there were emft question from 16 marks and 2024 there were con- control question in 2022 uh, there were more questions for com- from communication 
so i believe that uh, doing the uh, covering of the whole syllabus is more important because even if you miss some marks on the hard topics you can easily score in the other topics as well okay yeah, yeah yeah covering the whole syllabus is very important according to you yeah. so yeah. basically you should start early right you started early that's why you are able to cover yeah. the whole topic within the college itself so uh, that's the most recommended thing to everyone whoever is watching they should start early so whenever you found some topic right which is very difficult to understand or very difficult to solve question so how you used to tackle that how you should tackle those difficult uh, topics Did you used to like refer to two educators, or used to uh, use books, or do more brainstorming for that particular topic? What do you used to do? So I had some of my friends here in college as well. So uh, we used to discuss some topics if uh, I had some problem, and they also used to discuss. So I think having a good good circle uh, around you helps a lot. Also, uh, referring to textbook is the best solution because. Uh, get also uh, like uh, takes takes up questions from reference books only so but i did not uh, like specifically uh, take reference books uh, because i i found that up on my side to like uh, because i had less time left i i believe more on question solving rather than on theoretical part so yeah i think but then, yeah uh, yeah thank you so uh, like uh, as you mentioned like i i also used to as you address like if i did not get a specific topic if i could not understand it i would refer to other teachers but then again the main uh, motive was that covering up the entire syllabus from one teacher only because if i distracted to other teachers then i could not get the exam, 100% from the teacher that was teaching me so i believe in like complete completion of from a single teacher first and then referring yeah, yeah. to other teachers. so basically like yeah it is very important like uh, one teacher will use some other notation one teacher will use some other yes. form of explanation that will be beneficial if you follow only one teacher then you can go to the particular topic for that other teacher so uh, did like prefusion help in any ways like you did you watch our videos prefusion or like you have watched himanshu's videos i think for analog electronics most probably yes yes i also specifically referred to your control uh, videos they were very helpful for me they were really very helpful because it was in depth analysis of the single topics like my quiz you taught like many other topics are there that viewers can also watch like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. completely free and also like in depth analysis is being done there i have okay. been yeah i know you followed prefusion from the beginning itself I yes know. okay okay so like uh, what happened like can you share your experience during the exam day like how was the exam um like going was uh, like many people told ec was difficult so what was in your mind going through when you were attending the paper i i also had a difficult time initially in ec paper because like uh, initially seeing the aptitude question i was like uh, i am not able to solve the aptitude question too like just the initial 5 uh, minutes before after the start of the exam i was not able to solve even a active question So I was like, uh, let's keep it for first, and then go to easy topics first, and then we'll come back to it later. Mark for review is there definitely. If I know that yeah, I can yeah. solve this question, I would mark, mark for review it and then move ahead. Also, uh, I think uh, we should not waste time on the things like for to get a decent rank. Uh, there are enough questions in the question paper for uh, you to get a, a decent rank uh, by maintaining just by doing the moderate to easy question first. that is my that was my main goal in the paper iin paper was very good for me because i had no external pressure because i am from electronics background only but then in electronics paper what happened was there was seven days gap so there was some mental pressure in me that uh, how the paper would be and then all so it went fine but uh, like there were many questions that i could have solved more okay okay so okay so lastly like uh, have you thought of anything like what to, will you do with this gate rank or you are still deciding like uh, where you want to go something mm, i will look uh, look uh, look ahead and then explore the uh, options that i have i'm uh, i'm open to uh, mtech as well okay, as okay. you still like okay so I, still I like be... deciding yeah. there are many opportunities through gate so we can like yes. everyone think you have got a very good rank so you will be able to get anything like what you want so we hope like you, you get all your wishes come through so uh, basically yeah thank thank you rithik for coming to our channel uh, and yeah we will meet you again thank you bhaiya the pleasure is mine uh, the channel was really great uh, I, like i mentioned i have been using the channel since the very beginning so i know the content i i know every lecture like i have been watching the lecture so it was really helpful 
to get uh, mentors like you and Manshu Bhaiya and uh, in taking guidance from you helped us a lot. You motivated us too. So thank you for that.